Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Cruiser Air 29 RS. This particular model does have the premium package on it, which has an assortment of different options. I will highlight a couple of them as we go through. One of them is going to uh, be right up front, and that is the painted fiberglass front cap. So the, uh, the premium package does give you a painted front cap. You'll see it does have the concave uh, sections here on both sides. That's going to give you a little bit sharper turn rate so when you turn uh, the cab of your truck is going to go right there. Also if you look up front here it does have LED strips that are going to be laid in uh, so that way you know at night kind of gives it a cool look. Let's head underneath here. A couple quick things. You can take a look right here. Nice clean compartment. You can see right there is going to be your battery disconnect. Very easy to access and over to the side is going to be your battery box. Uh, right underneath that compartment is the spare tire. Very easy to access. Uh, your power legs here do have spring pins on there too. A uh, quick thing about um, another option that you get with that premium package is going to be the Thermotech insulation, which puts radiant foil uh, in the roof, the floor, the front, and the back of the unit. So that way it's going to trap the heat during uh, your cold season and it's going to keep it colder during the warm season. So that's going to be a big benefit as well. Take a look at the, uh, start at the very top, you can take a look at the roof line. One of the cool things about Cruiser Air is they have a rolled roof. That's something you generally don't see in this size RV. You usually have to go to your uh, full profile, big expensive RVs like your Montana Redwoods in order to see that, cur that rolled roof line. Uh, a couple big advantages to having a rolled roof. One, the roof material is going to come down the sidewall a little more, so less chance for water penetration. Uh, you know that, that wall is going to uh, just have more contact, more surface area on the side there as well. And if you do brush up against anything, whether it's a tree branch or a building, it's going to have less chance to tear that membrane open because it's going to be more of a rounded surface, not as sharp of an angle. Right underneath that is the power awning. Now, it's super simple to use. Touch of a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. Then underneath the power awning is the outside speakers. Uh, nice thing about the outside speakers, those are connected to your multimedia center inside. Nice and easy to use. If you do have a smartphone or tablet, you can connect to that via Bluetooth. That way you can sit out here, control all your music, whether you use a streaming service or any music on your device, really whatever you want. Let's take a look at the window right here. If you notice, that's something uh, new that uh, Cruiser Air is doing this year, and that is a two-year limited warranty. So there's a two-year warranty on this coach, which is phenomenal. Um, if you're not familiar, industry standard on most is going to be one year. Right here you can see you have two 30 pound propane tanks, so 60 pounds of propane. Switch over, of course, is going to be right there in the center. Pass through storage. If you take a look right in there, nice big pass through. Um, the, you do have the thermal tech insulation again in the floor, and then over here is a light if you want uh, if you want to see at night, and you have the hookups for the TV. Now this uh, door right here is going to be magnetic, so you don't have to worry about any kind of clasps or anything to put it up, nice and simple. It's also going to be slam latch baggage door, so when you're done you can just drop the door and it goes ahead and shuts itself, super simple and easy to use. Getting into the coach is a breeze, you have three steps here as well as the easy grab handle, so that way you can grab that from the first step all the way into the last one. Let's talk about slides for a second. So slides have been around for a long time. Now a lot of people though are still leery about slides and I'm here to tell you Cruiser Air has one of the best slide systems in the industry. Not necessarily on the mechanical side but on the seals because that's what you're really afraid of is leaks. So what they've done is they do have your double swiper seal. If I lift this one back you can see there is a second seal right here. So double swiper seal. You have the bulb seal here as well and then you have a bulb seal on this slide as well. So when this uh, uh, actually shuts the two bulb seals kind of mate next to each other this will kiss up against the fiberglass and I'm telling you have four seals there it's not gonna leak so phenomenal seal system also if you take a look at the side right here normally on on all your slides you can bend this flange it's not moving at all on the cruiser air so uh, just again great slide system that they put on here let's take a look underneath 
You have aluminum rims as well as nitrogen filled tires. Aluminum rims are great because less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. Uh, and they're also going to be easy lube axles. Uh, so you can just take the cap off there, pump some grease into the greaser, and it's a lot easier. You don't have to repack the bearings as often. Nitrogen filled tires are going to give you better ride experience and uh, more even tire wear. In between part of the premium package is the Equiflex suspension. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's going to help take a lot of the uh, bumps from going down the road, a lot of the potholes, uh, and just overall give you a much better tow experience. Let's make our way around to the back side of the coach here. A couple cool things. One is going to be your rear mount ladder. Fully walkable roof on here. Uh, nice thing about having a rear ladder is you don't have to bring one with you. So you know, if, if you do have to bring a ladder, it takes up half your pass through. So it's nice to have one attached, just climb right up. If we take a look down beneath, uh, beneath, you'll see right here is a propane quick connect. So if you want to attach a grill, nice and easy to do so right there. That way you can feed off your 60 pounds of propane instead of having to bring your little Coleman bottles. Last but not least, it comes with a boat hitch. So this is phenomenal, um, especially if you're looking to tow a boat. If a lot of you, um, maybe some of you know, some of you don't, but in a lot of states, you do have a restriction to how long you can be. Uh, in Michigan, it can only be 75 foot from the front of your truck to the back of your boat. So, uh, you know, it's nice to have a shorter RV and be able to have that boat hitch on there. Biggest advantage of the boat hitch, besides obviously being able to use it, is that it doesn't void your manufacturer's warranty. A lot of people don't know this as well, but if you install a uh, receiver on the uh, RV, most of the time it will void a warranty. Obviously, it's probably nothing going to be wrong with it. It'll work flawlessly, but if you want that manufacturer's warranty, you have to get it from the manufacturer, and that's what Cruiser Air offers. Uh, that's going to have 3,000 pounds pulling capacity, or tow capacity, and a 300-pound uh, tongue weight on there. Come around to the side. This is going to be your power hookup detachable uh, cord there, as well as your power rear stabilizer jacks. All right, folks, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the gorgeous inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Cruiser Air 29RS. This particular model is going to be in the espresso interior. So one of the things I love about having dual opposing slides, which this unit has, is it's gonna be nice and open in your main living space, and it allows for a center island. And in this case, you get a huge center island. You can take a look at the prep space, beautiful solid surface countertops in here. You have plugins on either side. You can see there's one there, there's gonna be one on the other side as well. So if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a toaster, a griddle, a blender, you can certainly do that. Of course, you have your high-rise faucet here and your uh, double undermount stainless steel sink. Uh, it's great because you'll have double bowls so you can wash on the left, rinse on the right, and again, plenty of countertop space to go ahead and dry that out. Also, you have the sink top cover here. You can go ahead and flip this over and use this as a large cutting board. Now, anytime you're going to have big countertop space, it generally means you have big storage under underneath too. So we'll go ahead and open this door up. Take a look at that trash can. Great place for it, exactly where you want it. You're done chopping up your food, toss it right in the trash can. Has its own nice little compartment there. Also right here, you're gonna have smaller drawer up top and a nice big drawer here down below. And right over here, you get shelf space there. One of the other cool things about this island, this does have um, a two color, it's gonna be two tone wood. So you can see here the island's a little bit darker where this is gonna be a little bit lighter. It's gonna be a nice contrast for the kitchen. Right up top is going to be your microwave. Uh, beneath that is a fully functional hood with a light and fan. Beautiful raised panel cabinetry on here with your brushed nickel poles. We'll open that up, see you have large pantry space right there, which is phenomenal. Underneath you have this nice decorative backsplash. Again, solid surface countertops over here. Uh, the cooktop is going to have a cover on there as well. Three burner cooktop, and it also comes with a conventional oven. Underneath, you have nice full extension drawer there and a bank of four full extension drawers right over here. This is going to be the weight of the unit. This one weighs 8,987 pounds, so under 9,000 pounds, which is great. 
Um, as you can see here, not only do you have the big pantry space next to the microwave, but you have huge pantry space right here, which is great. You know, more and more uh, RV manufacturers, fifth wheel manufacturers are starting to understand that people are spending more and more times in their fifth wheel, more and more time rather, and they're going to need nice big pantries for all the food. Eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo. Again, same thing with the pantry. You need a lot of food for the pantry. You need a lot of space in your fridge and freezer. This one's going to have it. Uh, this is a Norcold unit. You can see right on here the thermostat is on the outside, which is nice. This is going to turn off both LP electric and it has automatic switchover for you. Moving over a little bit further, uh, the storage up top is cool. They have this nice, beautiful uh, decorative glass. This is going to be self supported on a hinge, so it's just one hand operation, which is nice. Underneath is going to be your TV mounting bracket. This unit does come with a 32 inch TV. Uh, all your hookups and everything there are going to be there as well. Multimedia center right there. Uh, that is going to control your speakers outside as well as your speakers inside. That's going to be a radio, a CD player, and a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it right in there you're good to go fireplace down below uh, that's gonna be wonderful not only does it look very nice aesthetically but it also does a great job of putting out a lot of heat so um, you know if you're it's a cold night cold morning you don't want to turn your propane on just fire up the fireplace and you'll be golden right back here is going to be the sofa Trifold sofa. If you're not familiar with it, it's going to be the preferable type of bed in an RV when it comes to sofa sleepers. It's going to be very comfortable to sleep on. You're not going to have a big bar on your back like a traditional pullout. You're not going to worry about waking up on a deflated air mattress. Also on both sides, you have shelving space with plug-in. So if you need to plug in a laptop or computer, you can certainly do that. And you have storage underneath both sides as well. Roller shades throughout. This is going to be one of those uh, one of the parts, the premium package upgrade. You get the roller shades on here as well as these curtains. Uh, so it's a nice look and roller shades are phenomenal. They work extremely well. Uh, you don't have to worry about your strings breaking or blinds bending, anything like that. Of course, roller shades throughout, as you can see here. Take a look up top, beautiful decorative glass, uh, great storage there as well, as well, and you have LED lights throughout. These are going to be rocker uh, swivel recliners. So they swivel, they rock, they recline, they do everything you need them to do. Extremely comfortable and straight across from the TV exactly where you want them. Table and chairs right here. Uh, so you get four chairs, which is great. So if you do have any guests, you can go ahead and have, or you can accommodate them as well. All four seats do have storage underneath and you have storage in the back of the table. This table is also going to have uh, a slide out leaf in there. So if you do need some extra table space, you can go ahead and slide this out. It'll add a couple inches on the end. Then before you go up the steps, you have this beautiful hutch. So you have the, the decorative glass right up here. Looks very nice. Excellent storage there. This one is going to have your control panel. You can see there, so storage up top, control panel down below. You'll have some backlit switches in here, which is great. Tank monitoring system, everything you're going to need. Um, nice area here. You do have a plug-in, so you know if you want to make like a margarita bar or something, you can put your blender over there. Light here as well to help brighten it up. And then underneath, you're going to have more additional storage. So great storage there. Again, beautiful raised panel cabinetry throughout. It really is gorgeous. You know, you can just see the amount of detail they put in here. Uh, when it comes to quality with the raised panel cabinetry, if you look up top, you can see the crown molding going along the edges. Uh, they just really do a gorgeous job. All right, folks, pretty much going to wrap it up for down here. Let's head up front. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. There's going to be plenty of room in the bathroom, the 29 RS. Right down here in the corner is your porcelain toilet. Plenty of leg room all the way around. Up over here is the Neo Angle shower. So you can see you have great shelving space, your hand wand, as well as nice big skylight up top. Let's in a lot of natural light, plenty of headroom. Cool thing about this Neo Angle shower, the doors are going to stay inside the track. And because it doesn't swing open, Open, all the water is going to drop down into your sh uh, shower pan and not be all over the floor. Mirrored medicine cabinet right here. Beneath that is nice big countertop with the sink. Kind of a, a high rise faucet there for a bathroom faucet, which is great. And additional storage underneath. The other cool thing right over here is going to be a mirrored linen closet. You can see in here plenty of space for all of your towels and a nice big drawer underneath. 
And then this is a pocket door, so this will close off the uh, bathroom and bedroom. And then the rest of the slide is gonna be wardrobe. Let's head on into the bedroom and come take a look at that. So the rest of the slide is going to go into the bedroom and this is going to be large wardrobe space. Uh, it does have mirrors on front of the doors. You can see right here is going to be a hanging rod. You have an adjustable shelf there. So if you want to put that up, uh, you know, for any folded clothes, you can certainly do that. Nice big drawer here underneath. And then right over here, same thing. Another door that opens up, more hanging space, adjustable shelf, and an additional drawer. Now right here in the center is going to be the queen bed. If you take a look, this is going to be the iCool sleep system, extremely comfortable bed. A lot of times in RVs, you buy the, this beautiful RV, you come to, you go, to uh, go to bed at night and your mattress is an absolute rock. Not the case here. This is going to be uh, a memory foam gel with a cooling system in it so it doesn't heat up on there. And I'm telling you, it's extremely comfortable. You won't have to replace the mattress. But this is a queen bed, something that's kind of cool. You you can lift this up you see you do have some access to storage right there but even better you have two large full extension drawers so it's nice easy access to anything you want to put down there both sides of the bed have a large shelf. Uh, you have a cutout underneath that as well as a drawer. And in the back of the shelves, you'll see you have electrical outlets. So whether you want to charge a cell phone, a tablet, or if you have a CPAP machine, you can put it on either side of the bed. Storage all along the top of the bed as well as two LED reading lights, a nice leather headboard there as well if you want to sit up and uh, read at night. Right up here is going to be the uh, mounting bracket location. If you want to install a TV in the bedroom, hookups up top there as well. All right, folks, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Again, this is the 2017 Cruiser Air 29RS. This one is going to be in the espresso interior. It's a fantastic coach. You have the beautiful painted front cap on there. Excellent construction. The uh, living room area is really set up well with the couch in the back and the nice swivel recliner straight across the TV. Huge kitchen island. Plenty of space in the bathroom and bedroom as well. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below. Or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV. Or you can always hop online at AmericanRV.com and check out the specs and answer any questions you have there as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.